we have um, another small bit there now this field and I've done that little hedge there for the men next door to, uh, and I've cut this field already where the cows are but the whole feckers are in the way so I'm just trying to see if I can get out now again they're all gathered down here by the tree I'd say looking for a bit of shade out of the, the bit of sun but um, yeah, it's kind of getting repetitive now at this stage like and and doing the same thing once there's no the way it is like and it's going to be mainly hedge cutting for the next I don't really know how long actually but I thought I'd be out of this place a long time ago but there just seems to be more and more so we'll take everything that we get I've been doing good so good and I've been on my best behavior I've been living by the book I should have known So um, we're just drawing a few bales there now. <clears throat> I hadn't penned on drawing these because they're not for myself at all, they're for other men. But um, I was meant to be going hitch cutting this morning, but he he gave me a tick, so I said I might as well do it forever. Um, I don't really know how many bales there's here. I don't think there's that many. Like, there's, I said there's a bond of 60 or 70. There's only three small fields, but this field here is dog rough. But, um, I did our mail with a, a few days because the first field, these bales are actually fine, but the first field are a small bit stagnant, it's just hard to get underneath them with the bale handler. But um, I'll probably draw them one at a time there at the end. I'll draw out the bulk of them first because they're drawing them, they're drawing them with Celtics at the moment. And uh, instead of fucking having the boys, and that they're going to be that quick because they're going a long draw with them, but instead of having them waiting, I'll well, draw out a few of them and have them ready for them. And uh, at the end, then I can draw the last few with one at a time if I have to. But yeah, um, I'll probably go hedge cutting again after I have these few drawn. It won't take too long, it's not that far. So we'll see how it goes. I think it's a briar into my fucking finger. Um, I finished there. There was two fields here. I just finished. Um, that's again. There was no wires, nothing there in this field. So it's fairly handy to walk around it. I'll just show you around the farm. See what I mean, like. Yeah. 
a big improvement now to the passage. I can hardly drive down there a minute ago without rubbing off it. <coughs> That'll do. That didn't really help us. There's wire now, there's my finger, there's wire inside in that hedge down along there now. You can actually see a paw blowing down the corner, but it is buried. So our job is to try and find it like that. So let's see what happens. Obviously it doesn't look pretty now because I was basically cutting furs and trees, but I um I don't have to do That's a bit better to see there now, but um I couldn't actually do the whole field because off over there in that direction is just way too strong for a hedge cutter. Um to have to be something like a digger and a mulcher to do it. I um I wasn't going to waste time there at Notting and ruin the flails for no reason, so we'll, um, we'll call it an evening and go home and fill it with diesel and I suppose there's a lot of rain given down for tonight as far as I was told to know, I haven't actually checked it myself but um, we'll see what the night is like if too much rain falls, we won't be able to go hitch cutting tomorrow because it wouldn't be long browner in the field, it's just there's a lot of rain I've fallen the last few days but I don't know, there's a 30 mil given down for tonight. So uh, if that does come, we will not be hitch cutting tomorrow anyway. Well, I will, but I won't be doing anything inside in this place. I'll uh, have a few, have I two houses? I have two houses I can cut out by the road. So I'll do them tomorrow if I'm not here. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll tear on home.